I'm Max Davis, and welcome to Possum Holler Garage in Sawdust, Tennessee. The day-to-day -day living around here is actually trucks. We work on a lot of trucks, mostly uh, classic trucks. That's kind of like our bread and butter, and uh, we definitely have the uh, truck blood going on around here. I create all kinds of unique items. They can be from a car boat to truck boats. So this is one of my visions that I had a few years ago. We're real proud of it. We've used it to clean the river up around here. Wagons, classic trucks. The fire the Larry's Country Diner truck up for the first time. Old cars. Car furniture. UFOs. Just kidding, take that out. The basic design of Possum Holler Garage is all about my husband. It's come all out of his mind and throughout the years, we seem to happen along things during uh, trips to travel. We'll come across some things that we know would look just absolutely great here as an addition to what we already have going on. Speaking of my husband, Max, I guess you could say he's somewhat of a creative genius or the mad scientist kind of person. So when I'm building a truck, I get a vision in my head and I can actually see the truck when it's completed. I can see the colors, uh, the interior, and uh, that's just like a gift that I have. It's just uh, each one is like a one-off creation and that's what uh, makes it so unique. We just finished a really nice diner truck. Color schemes is all stuff that came out of my head. You know, even down to the wood, the cargo area. This 1953 GMC pound truck was built for Larry's Country Diner. Hi, I'm Larry Black from Larry's Country Diner. And, and I'm Renee the Waitress. Put a lot of time in this truck. We stripped it all down, put a Corvette motor in it. What we have here is the, the LT1 Corvette motor. Real efficient motor, lots of power, lots of horsepower. A lot of uh, detail work, if you'll notice on the hubcaps. We made logos that actually says Larry's Country Diner. All the design work is the stuff that I came up with. Also, something that on this panel truck that will stand out among the rest of them is the stainless steel trim pieces that wrap around it. And the reason they put them on there is because when these trucks went into the neighborhood to deliver the groceries or hardware, a lot of the homeowners complained because they didn't like the old ugly looking trucks in their neighborhood. GM came up with this idea to kind of dress the trucks up and just recently uh, there was a company called Jim Carter Truck Parts started remanufacturing these and this is actually the first set that they ever remanufactured and I used them on Larry's truck. A lot of people ask me and say where do you find these trucks? Well, when I travel I made a, a little uh, rule of mine when I build a truck for somebody that I have to personally deliver it. Whenever I deliver a truck I bring one or two back. You'd be surprised at how many old trucks are still sitting around on the farms. You just have to go out and look for them. Right now, this is what we're looking at. 1954 F1. Down here in the water. With the beavers done made a dam all around it. Right, we're trying to figure out a way to get it out of here so we can take it back to the shop and restore it. It's just an honor for me and I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. 